Hey y'all, Georgia Peach Cooks and Creates here. <laughs> Still trying to get used to my new name. <laughs> and I've got a huge Dollar Tree haul. This Dollar Tree haul has been a collection of stuff from maybe two to three weeks. I'm prepping for the Valentine season. So I knew that I wanted to get a couple of things to go around the house. I've got a lady friend of mine that I am creating something for. And I also, every season or every little holiday, I decorate my bathroom. So I have got several things that I have picked up that will blend in with not only what I already have, but also add to um, what I want to create DIY-wise and what I already have that I've picked up that's just already intact, I guess. <laughs> so, buckle your seatbelt up, get yourself coffee or bottle of Coke or something, whatever you drink, and let's get going on this because this is going to be a long one. So... I'm gonna start off with just the bag right next to me. And I got this uh, skinny ribbon with the hearts and the arrows on it. I got some red tinsel. Set of the six smaller hooks. I got an 11 by 14. Um, what are these called? Frames. <laughs> and I don't know if I'm going to be using this because every time I put this on my wall, it bows forward a little bit. So I've got another option in mind, but. I'm gonna try it and see what happens. So, 11 by 14. And to go with this, I've got one of two options for bags. So I picked up this bag, and I know this is stuff that y'all have already seen over and over again, but I wanted to show you what I had and what's gonna go into the process of the DIY. So I've got this bag, which is flat on the back. Flat, not glittery and then the glittery. And then I think I'm gonna use this one, but it's got the uh, the hearts with the gold. And then again, the not glittery on the back. And then you can't do Dollar Tree with and Valentine's without getting heart frames. So I got two of them. I'm setting them to the side over here. And then I got, for my door, I got the Love Each Moment. That'll go on my front door, on the outside. So, first bag down. My second bag. These were all different things I found at different stores. So, these you couldn't find in one store. I went to another one. I got this Valentine with the kitty cat, and it shows just that message inside. And then I got this one, and this has got the raised lettering, and it shows that message inside. burlap these I found by the register I thought they were really pretty these are the glittery rose colored pens and my mother likes purple and I love purple too but I bought it for her and I bought myself the pink one first time I've ever seen these and I've only went to doll went as many Dollar Trees as I've went to I've only seen them at one and I haven't found any more 
So I don't know what other colors they have. I think they might have blue. So, there you go on that one. Put the bag down. Okay. I bought a scarf in this pattern. I bought some, I bought that glass with this foam, which will fit into it. DIY project here. And then I bought, let's see, one, two, three of these. Which are these? These are Alstromeria. I think they're so pretty. They're pink, hot pink color with, if you can tell, the little blue, whatever it is, part of their flower on the tips. So I've got three of those. And then I've got <coughs> three of the roses. And these were the prettiest full ones I could find. Of course, you'll have to scrunch them up a bit and get them back to shape. But I've got three of those. Got some heart picks. This is the red one. That's got the nine, and these are the smaller glittery ones. And then I got the pink, and this is the seven pack. And this is one with the bigger glitter, and it's got the uh, iridescent pieces in it. Got that. Got some foam hearts, red, white, and pink, and that's a pack of eight. This is for a DIY. Then I got these felt stickers that has the hearts with the rhinestones in them, and there's 26 needs. Got those. Got two of the decorative mesh, and this is the white with the red in it. And this is uh, six by five, six inches by five yards. Got two of those. Bought this XOXO light baby pink colored ribbon. That's the thin ribbon. And I bought this very sheer pink glittery wired ribbon. And this is, let's see, what's it say? I can't read it from that far. Two and a half inches by 108 inches. So that's that one. And then I got a pack of the light pink colored, um, Table scatter, which are like kind of like the glass hearts. And that's another bag there. Alright. Next bag up. I have something to send to my brother in Colorado. So I got one of these padded envelope bubble mailers. Um, there's two in each of these. And that's the Jot brand. That. And then I found this wow. Set your goals high and don't stop till you get there. Believe you can and you are halfway there. Do it now. So I have a crafting table, which is what this this I'm using my iPhone, which is what my iPhone is attached to. And behind behind the actual table on the wall is where I think I'm going to end up putting this kind of inspirational get it done kind of deal. <laughs> okay. I got some tissue paper and I got this specifically for the baby pink and this is for that DIY for the 11 by 14 picture. 
I'll figure that out. Okay. My daughter, Ella, the one that you met in the intro, I got this love notes from me to you and with the envelope. And this is one that you fill out from start to finish. So I'm going to fill that out for her. And I think she's seen me grab it. Though I'm not exactly sure if she did. So that'll be a little nice remembrance for her when she gets down the road. Which is why I do scrapbooking too. Because, you know, a box of pictures just doesn't do it justice. And you really have to rack your brain or call family members to say, Hey, what year was this? Well, now I can put those dates to those pictures and make them pretty. That's why I scrapbook. So, I also found these. Everybody and their brother were hauling these. And I had to get them. I like them. I love the smell of them. They're just kind of thin. So, I'm going to hang on to them. And I'll probably use them in towards the summer months. So, I've got the apple and the um, pear. I've got some jute twine. And then I've got this pink colored burlap ribbon which is nine feet. That's how much they all are. Um, I think I've got two or three, maybe even four of these. That one. Here comes the big bag. One of the big bags. Okay, so this is for my friend. I am kind of decorating her house. She's in low spirits, so I figured, you know, let me go ahead and see if I can brighten her spirits. She, her favorite color is red. And she loves Valentine's Day. So I thought, why not? So I've got this sign. Love is all you need. And it's got the burlap on it. And it's got the glitter on it. So I got that with the word love. I got the table scatter, which has got 60 pieces in it. And that's the red and the pink. I finally found the tissue paper that has got the scallop etching on it. It's got the exos and exos. So I'm, I'm excited to use that in one of my DIYs. I needed some tw um, cable ties. So um, Dollar Tree sells these and they come 30 to a pack. You could actually use these instead of the tinsel, um, the tinsel twists when you're making your wreaths, and it holds on to them a little bit better. If you want to make them permanent, I I plan on making all of mine permanent, so I do that. And then I bought two bags of the pebbles, and these are white. One big bag down. Okay. Here's the second. The second big bag. And this one, I've heard everybody raving about these. These are the Cape Cod Thins. The originals. And then I got the Cape Cod Thin Barbecue. Smoke Barbecue. Smoky Barbecue. I haven't seen anybody talk about these. I've always seen people talking about the original. So I wonder, are you just in my area? And then for my work, I got for my uh, for snack during work because I'm trying to eat a little healthier. I got two packs of these um, pretzel crisps. And I got two packs of the Jeff to go peanut butter. So I figured this would make a pretty decent snack while I was at work. This won't make a decent snack, but they're good. And I'm not a chocolate fan per se. I don't like milk chocolate. I eat white chocolate, but these are the golden vanilla cookies with just the regular icing in the middle. So these do good for me when I'm having that little sugar moment. And for 
for my daughter. I bought two of the white peanut butter hearts. They're white chocolate with the um, peanut butter on the inside. And of course, they're wrapped in Valentine's wrapping. So, for the season, I can't say I won't get into these either, but never know. Okay, and then definitely for her, I bought these now and later. And these are reds, and this one's got cherry and sour cherry and strawberry and sour watermelon and I've never seen these before and we only found one pack of these so and it was randomly placed in where all the decorations were so I'm not sure if somebody picked these up and decided against them or if this was just the last pack that they had so she's gonna try those and let me know how that goes and then, on the random, I got some chopped onion. That's another big bag. Okay, now, I got two, I'm unwrapping these, two, well, I'm not going to unwrap this one because you can see what it is. Got two of these pretty little heart glass containers. And I figured these would go good on, we have a bar that goes um, around our kitchen. So I figured fill them with something maybe in the bottom. And then just put maybe a little couple flowers in them. And go on that one. That was that on that bag. Okay, for my friend's DIY, she, I'm going to be using these love, because you remember the love sign, it had love on there, well, there you go, we're just going to make it match, and to fill it, well, I'll show you when I get there, but she's got two of these, I got two of those for her. So I'll show you what I'm going to do with those. And for a DIY to go alongside of those um, little red heart ones, I got one of these. And these are, you see, they're just about the size of my head, but I like the size, a little bit bigger than the size of my hand. They're small and they're cloudy, so make sure you wash your glasses before. Um, you use them because all people's fingerprints and oils and stuff, they pick, pick them up and anyway, you need to wash that stuff off before you do your DIY stuff so it'll stick. So I got two of these. And we love these things. I use PRX crystals a lot, and I find that these are actually better long-lasting smell-wise than the PRX crystals, and this is the fresh scent. So I just sprinkle them in every time I start my washing machine, and I sprinkle them straight into the water, and they seem to do perfect, and I bought two of those. And I found some... Clorox wipes, multi, oh, well, yeah, multi, my multi-purpose cleaning wipes, so I got two of those, and these are 17 each, and I use these on my, um, on the, on the rim of my toilet, and I also use these on my counter when I don't deep clean it, um, for just like a quick, you know, the quick wipe up or whatever every, you know, every day or every two days or what have you. So I use those. And then, we love bounce. But, we don't like paying the 7 to $8 here in Georgia that the 60 count gives you. So, 
These have 15 count each, and this is the Outdoor Fresh Scent. $4 for 60 of them versus $7 to $8 for 60 of them over at Walmart. So, can't beat that. And we go through dryer sheets like crazy. So there's another bag down. And then one more bag to go. But, y'all, I have flowers out the wazoo, but of course you can't never have enough flowers. So, um, these flowers right here, they're roses, but they have, I don't know if you can tell, they have like the little lines on the petals, and they may, seem to make them fuller. I don't know what it is about these ones, but anyway, the, the DIY that I'm making for my friend lady, um, I got her two of these bigger stem. And then I bought two of the, let me put those down, two of the smaller stem roses. <laughs> These are the little mini petite ones. Mini roses is what the thing says. So, got those. And then to fill it. Um, to fill like to f fill the filler in between, I bought the um, baby's breath. So I got two of those. Plus I have some more if I need it in my stash. Then I did not realize that I bought these, but I guess these ended up. No, I do. I know why I bought these. I bought these because I thought they would be different with the pink that I'm fixing to show you of these flowers. So these are peonies, and I just thought they were the prettiest. And you know, you don't have to do red all throughout your home. In fact, I'm doing pink for my bathroom, so this will do well. And then this is the actual color that my shower curtain's gonna be, which is like a baby pink. I hope y'all can see that, but this is, um, this is the cattails, and I thought, yeah, we'll see how that goes. But I will show y'all. So, my last bag is I bought the tinsel heart picks, the red, to go inside her, my friend's um, vase. So, because she, she's just a red person, she likes red. So, I figured this would just give it a little special touch. And this has got seven, just like the pink one had. Here's the other pink burlaps that I found. Now, as a filler for her vases, um, so the roses stems will sit, I bought this filler. And this is, the I, I, I had a choice of another one, but it was pink. And I said, well, let me just stick with the red theme. So I told her, I said, we're going to do half of one in one, half one in the other. That way you can't see the stems and it smells good. And this is the smell apple cinnamon and it is four ounces. My mom said, I've got problems with my eyes. They're really puffy. And she thought it was sinuses, and she's been taking sinus medicine, and it's been helping. But I thought, you know what? They sell these masks at the Dollar Tree. So, they're a dollar. It says on the back here that you are to place your refrigerator for no more than 60 minutes, or in the freezer for no more than 10. Apply gently to the eye area for no more than 15 minutes at a time with 15, ma 15 minute breaks in between. I'm gonna try it. Can't beat it for a buck, and if it works, wonderful. And I got the lady that I'm doing the, the DIY for, I got her one too. So, <laughs> got two of those. I'll let you know if it works. And then my daughter, we are going to have a little Valentine's Day soiree. 
at our house. So my daughter decided that she wanted to do a little um, goodie bag or, you know, like a little, a little gift bag or what have you. So she's got, the lady that I'm doing the DIY for has got two daughters. And she picked up, my daughter picked up one for her and one for her two girls. So they each will have one. And she also picked them up the heart necklaces. She loves Disney and she loves Disney princesses. Well, they came out with an all Disney princess um, panini. I think that's how you say it. Panini, panini. It's the book. And it's these are the stickers, and they're like trading cards. But these aren't don't have trading cards. These are stickers, and you take the stickers off and you fill the book up. Anyway, that's it. I've got a Michael's haul that I need to do, and I will tell you, um, I only picked up a couple of things from Target to finish my DIY that I'm doing in my bathroom. So what I will do is I will put the Target haul and the Michaels haul together. But this is your Dollar Tree haul and I hope that you guys enjoyed it. I hope you have a very blessed day and we'll see you guys in the next one.